Loaded flow number five, the big boy dumbbell flow. My flow partner, Sean Corkery, is a big boy, meaning he's strong, really, really strong. One day we were messing around trying to put together a flow using dumbbells, more specifically one dumbbell. As we were creating movements, it became apparent that Sean was in the mood for something heavy. As these six movements certainly don't require heavy load, the appropriate mass does help with the rhythm, timing, and momentum effects of the flow. This flow is a difficult one to master, but it's also very engaging to do. It takes you in every plane of motion and many different footprints and swing steps. This flow truly is authentic to how we know the body moves in its design. So enjoy and feel like a big boy moving mass. Start with a light to medium weight dumbbell and make sure to practice each movement until you feel proficient and confident. Start slow when chunking the flow together. Start with the first two movements and then add the third and so on. Make sure to initiate your movements with your hips and guide the momentum of the load. In other words, don't try to muscle it. Movement one. Movement one is a single arm hip swing, which if you've done a kettlebell swing is pretty much the same thing. Let the dumbbell swing down between your legs and then by extending your hips, thrust the dumbbell upwards. You should be simply guiding the dumbbell up as opposed to actually pulling it up. Once it reaches its end range of motion, let it fall back down between the legs using your hips to absorb and slow the motion. Practice then repeat using the other hand. Movement two is a hip swing to drop step catch. First use movement one to swing the dumbbell up and as it comes over your head, step back transversely to open up your hips. Catching the dumbbell with the opposite hand, drop into a squat to absorb the momentum of the swinging dumbbell. Once in range of motion is met, push the dumbbell back into its return swing. You can practice both sides by switching hands on the hip swing. Movement three is a skip step functional swing and catch. Let the dumbbell swing back while simultaneously stepping back with one foot into an open hip stance. Using your hips, drive the dumbbell back while guiding the motion over your opposite shoulder and catching the dumbbell with your other hand. Catch it like an egg as you finish your skip step and when your body finishes its stretch, push the dumbbell back. Practice and repeat the movement on the other side with the appropriate reps and or time. Movement four is a transverse squat with reach. Step back with a transverse step using the opposite foot of the hand with the dumbbell. Simultaneously squat with the open stance and reach the dumbbell towards the ground. Return to the start, switch hands, and repeat on the other side. Movement five is an overhead dumbbell press and pass. Warning, if you're doing this movement for the first time, make sure to pass the dumbbell from hand to hand. As you get better, it may become a small toss. Just don't drop it on your head. As you pass the dumbbell from side to side, absorb the weight through the hips by stepping with the opposite foot away. Practice, practice, practice. Movement six is a dumbbell lateral lunge with a swing to frontal overhead catch. Step out into a lateral lunge with one leg and with the opposite hand holding the dumbbell, swing it across your body towards your lunge. Absorb the momentum and reach in range of motion, and then by pushing into the ground with your foot, redirect the dumbbell back up over your head, catching it with the opposite hand. Use these movements as individual loaded movements. Practice them and become proficient. When you're ready, put them together in a big boy flow.